Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick from the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're going to be playing a game called Splat. Yes, Splat, published by Intersensitive uh, Software, Incentive Software, that's what I meant, in 1983. It's a maze-type game as we uh, uh, well define our keys, which also come out in the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. And it's quite addictive, this OP, A and Q, you know the score. Um, essentially, um, you control Zippy, which is a cross, which you'll see quite quickly. Got three lives. The map is going to scroll in a random direction, and we must guide our cross, i.e., Zippy, uh, so he never hits the um, brickwork around like that. Now, if we hit the brickwork, we're dead. So it scrolls in any one of four directions, up and down, left and right, and it will change every now and again. We get points for eating that grass and other things that turn up on later levels. Now you see in the black underneath where it says level one, next to it is 0%. That gradually goes up to 100%. Once we get to that, if we ever do, then it's on to the next stage, right? Great, right, so you must uh, avoid hitting the brickwork. So try and stay in the middle if you can do. Try and plot your path and do not get stuck, but always be wary that the direction like that could change at any point. Now, you don't uh, lose any lives from bashing into the black bits of the maze. Uh, you're okay there. It's just if you run out of room and bump into the brick. So we're up to 30%. We've got some grass. We don't want to be near the side of it or else we're utterly doomed. Now this game has come from a recommendation. Whoops, I didn't have it back in the day, so well done those people that recommended it. I think there'd be more than one of you. So it's splat with a big exclamation mark. Now my aim here, I do have a cheat for infinite lies, but we won't use it. My aim here is just to get off level one. Uh, I'm not gonna do it playing like that. Right, press any key, I for instructions. No, we're just gonna continue onwards, I think. So off we go again. Can I get off level one? Live three, you do get a bonus life every now and again. So a maze scrolling pac man -y sort of ultimate game of death. Uh, Zippy, I don't know how they come up with that name. I don't think it's based on Zippy from the child show Rainbow. If you know different, comment below. Now, also, if you own this on this system or any other system, what's the furthest you got? Because as I say, I think this game would be incredibly addictive. It's a good one. It's a good one from the early era of gaming. My, uh, ooh, my, um, oh man. My favourite era of gaming, the early 80s and 1983. This isn't going well, is it, folks? Come on, Nick. Now, never expect great gameplay on this channel. It's a rarity if it does happen. Um, uh, it always amuses me slightly when people have a go at me, either in the comments section or uh, as a messenger, uh, that I'm poor gameplay. Well, that's not the idea of the channel, but regular viewers would know that by now. It's all about having a laugh, seeing how the average player would have played, and would you have gone back to this as a kid? Uh, I think I would have done, actually. I think I would have done. I would have been very pleased with this game uh, if I bought it. Yeah, we'll just spent quite a few hours on this one, uh, keep a child's mind active. Um, that's not to say I don't think a kid would be bothered with it nowadays with all the other choice. They'll probably, um, well, poo-poo this idea. But anyway, as mains games go, there's a lot of good ones, and this has got to be, I would say, one of the better ones. Right, level one, 10%. Shall we eat that grass? No. Uh, points are irrelevant here. It's just about surviving or oh, getting to the edge. So you can see what to do quite quickly. You won't be pouring over lots of instructions or 20 years later thinking, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Splat. I don't think it had a sequel. I think I prefer this to other maze games like Android 1 and Android 2. Uh, but uh, there's so many to choose from. I think one of my favourite ones have to be Maziacs. So that's pretty good. Uh, Saber Wolf, you can call that a maze game. It's a bit of an advanced maze game, which I wasn't very good at. But uh, these basic ones I tend to like the best. Palmatic Attack, I love that. That was quite a technical game, and Night Law, but uh, I love, yeah. I'm contradicting myself already. Well done, Nick. As we try and get through this maze, 55%, uh, right, like, just survive. I think it might scroll slightly quicker as you go along. Scrolling is nice. Well, it's not super smooth, is it? Let's face it. But it's of an era, and it can get away with that. Eat as much grass as you can. Oh, that's not a drugs reference. Um, but this, this is all about a nice game here. I think the maze is random. I'm slowly getting the hang of it, aren't I, really? Right, now it's going up, now it's going back this way. Don't get caught near the wall. Try and plot your path through the maze, it will give you the best path. And always be wary that the maze could change direction, so create a little bit of space around Zippy. 
I wonder what his surname is. D Doodah, perhaps. Zippity Doodah. Zippity Doodah, Zippity Day. Oh my god, what a terrible day. And I'm through. I've completed level one. All this fun has just begun. Maybe. Right, well, how more difficult will level two be to level one? I'm guessing very similar. We go up, right, it's level two. Oh, is that water? Let's go through here. Uh, there's purple things that get you um, extra uh, points. But, but be mindful, uh, on later stages there will be things that uh, will kill you. And it looks like the maze is slightly tighter this time. So it is testing your skills. There's less open plan space, but still lots of these weeds or grass or whatever to uh, attack. They look a little bit like, I don't know if they're identical, they look very similar to those bushes you have to jump over on Manic Miner. Has that been lifted or is it just a coincidence? Hmm. Right, okay, look, in a bit of bother here. Yes, and I've got crushed by the wall of doom. But, you know, I got off level one, I've got the high score, and that's all that counts, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Um, I'd love to break into this game, because I'd, I'd imagine the programming is more basic than I think. Uh, the way it's scrolling makes me think it might be written in basic, but what do I know? It's of an era that uh, it could have been. Beep, beep. Uh, it's slightly flickering, the zippy as he goes across, but as I say, for the era and the style of the game, uh, they can get away with that. Wouldn't mark that down. So I'm, I, you know, I really like this game. It's a good one. It is a good one. Rah, if we still had time to do um, the uh, two week roundup, which I don't because I'm at full time work, I'm even at work as you listen to this, so I might be slow on doing the comments. But if I worked full time, if I didn't work full time, what am I saying? Uh, and I could do this, the two week roundup, if you were aware of that set of videos we used to do, then this would might come first, it might come second, but it would come pretty high up. Because as I say, I judge it for the era, or used to, uh, and how much I enjoyed the game. Great stuff. You put your favourite maze game below if you want to on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, but we've viewed quite a few there, some better than others. Um, I'm not sure this will come best of all the maze games because I, I love Maziacs. And we're doomed. 645, that's good, isn't it? Enter your initials now. Well, I will do. Uh, it's, uh, it's always mystified me because the Spectrum is not going to remember. It's not going to remember your high score. As soon as you reload it, that's that. Shall we have another go? The addictiveness is going, but you've pretty much seen all of the game now. You know what to do. You know if you like this game or not. I think most people would. Uh, if you don't, then uh, let me know why. You might not just be into a maze type game thing. I would like to see the, um, it might do in later stages, but I don't think it does. I would like to see the brickwork change color every now and again. Uh, that will give you an extra sense of getting somewhere, but uh, your, your mind isn't really on that really. It's just getting through the maze. I think I've got the basic skills for this now, so if I don't get out of level 1, then I'm a blooming nincompoop. Um, this is the bit where I've set myself up, where uh, in the comment section I don't get off level 1, and everyone says blooming nincompoop. And then I forget I put that, and two years later I think, why is everyone calling me a blooming nincompoop? It must be something I've said in the video. Well, it's hard to remember everything, you know. Uh, sometimes even the basics. So I'm not going to attempt to go down that bit of the maze there, it was in a dead end, which has just scrolled off. Right, 35%, 40% going good. Hi Nick, it says there. Well, that's me. 645? Uh oh, this looks tricky. No, we're still in the middle. The zippy is still in the middle. Um, right, okay, up. Keep roughly there, I guess. It's changing direction quite a lot now. Uh, as you notice, when you complete the level, it goes, yeah! Or something similar. And that's pretty good speech. Get that up here. Down there, round there, round, round, I get around, I get around, do, 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 do. Sound is as you expect it. I don't expect any in-game music, but when you hit the grass and stuff, 80%. Come on, let's have a year. Get ready for a year. I think we're going to get a year, are we? Possibly 90%. Nick, don't mess this up, mate. 95, come on, get out of here. Yippee! Yippee! That is pretty good sound. You'd have to admit. You would have been blown away. Any speech was good. 1983. Uh, first speech I ever saw was in like Ghostbusters, but it's good to see it there. Um, There's one game in particular that was very frustrating. It was a hunchback clone of some description. Uh, it was terrible. But you know, it works with this. Just uh, use it sparingly, and then we're looking good. Um, right, level two. Can we get off level two? We know it's tighter. We know there's extra things to eat if you want them. Don't know what they are. It did say in the instructions at the start. Come on, zip. 
I'm cheering myself now. But uh, you do, you do uh, uh, tame the life of Zippy. Now, what is Zippy? It looks, I've been calling him a cross, but uh, uh, the graphics do seem to change when he goes up and down. That's pretty good. But is he a crab? Is he a pair of scissors? What is he? If you know, then let me know. Well, I thought I was going to die then. Uh, luckily, the, the scrolling didn't take me completely out of the screen. Across we go. Yes, all right. Do remember to blink play in this game, unless you can, um, well, get a headache or do yourself some eye problems. But the colours are okay. There is no colour clash. It's just, um, yeah, you don't want to keep staring at a bright screen. And the ZX Spectrum has particularly bright colours compared to the other 8-bit machines. And that's what, for me, made it stand out. But, uh, you know, blink, please, people. Blink, blink, blink. I wonder how many people had short sight in this own to, to Spectrum ownership. Right, we've got a level 2 of all that chit-chat. High score? Yes, high score again. Beep, beep. Right, we got to level 3. So we've had a good old run. It now should get super tight. Oh, the brickwork has changed to that red stripey stuff. So it does change as you go through. Uh, are those things that kill you, those arrows? Yes, Nick, they are. Well, that's that found out then. So don't bump into those arrow things. They are hazards. Everything else is a free game, I think. Right, come on, Zippy. Cool, blimey. You have to move a bit quick here. <coughs> move quick or you're dead. The quick and the dead, that was a film. I haven't seen it. Good reference, Nick, good reference. Right, so this is our last life. We've got a zip out of here. We wasn't too zippy before. Round this mob, round the arrows. Is it the print symbol? Oh, no. Phew, that makes it a bit, that makes it a bit tougher when you've got obstacles to get around and it's scrolling a bit quicker and it's changing directions a bit quicker. Beep, boop, 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 down. Oh no, the water, right? We don't want it to go back up again. It's gone back up again, right? Curses. Yeah, there we go. So you have to be extra skillful as it goes on as you get the high score again. Didn't get a thousand points there, but we will enter our initials. Good, good, good. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I really enjoyed that game. I can highly recommend it. Uh, good graphics, good sound, and um, uh, great playability, which is always the main thing. If you'd like to have a look at that video, then thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments about this or similar games or anything retro or Spectrum, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Uh, Splat by Incentive Software in 1983. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.